right everybody welcome back to Grimiel the Fallen Angel yes the Baldur's Gate adventure of a lifetime the one I actually plan to follow through <laughs> and uh, last time we had the, the the fire incident with Karlak and if I recall we only have the long rest available now yes of course uh, I need to check if she does, in fact, have one heal to use right now. I could... Do I double heal? Sure. You never know where I, when, I, <laughs> when I'll need it. Okay, let's see. We got all them spells ready. And... You know what? This is fine. I'm not going to waste any spells. Uh, fun fact, I am recording this as the... Last video comes out, so, you yeah, know, it's been about two days since I played the game. Two to three days, something like that. Now, I have never actually been in this part of the woods, if you know what I mean. So, this is gonna be interesting. Like, again, I have mostly played in the... Uh... Underdark? Underside? I'm not completely sure, I forgot the name. But, yeah, I have not been above ground much so all i know is that there are some gnolls here which i do recall fighting and then i do remember an area where i do want to jump down which is why i got the lazel's uh feather fall i think it was called oh what is this oh that's a big cave opening oh oh we gotta save what is your interest in the astral yeah. plane all right Ooh. Everything is eternal. Damn. Okay. I don't really know, but should I be <sighs> wooden planks? Hmm. Should I be here? <laughs> that is the question. Should I be here? I've never been here before, so. That's gonna be interesting for me. Cause so far I I did spoil just a little bit what I would be doing ahead of time, but right now I have no idea what I'm doing, so let me grab the fire wine. I am assuming that is explosive. Can I even jump here? Path is interrupted. Huh. So is there no way I can go there? I feel like I need to check. Ooh, hello. Hello. Found a way. <laughs> Where there's a will, there's a way, brother. Perception failed, okay. Hmm. Yeah, let's bring everybody here. Perception. Why is perception failing on everybody? Alright, uh, good old Grandpa Gale cannot jump, so we do have to teleport him. There we go. Why is everybody failing the perception check? Oh. Okay, Asterion. That's all you. Minus HP is not good. Not good. Not good. Alright, yo, ch chill. Chill. Alright, I'll come back here. Come here. Alright. In silence. Ha! Uh, Gale. Hold up. Let me actually read Knock a little bit. Um, unlock an object. Okay, so this only works for locks, but does it work for traps? It's something I've never tried before, but we're about to find out. Okay. I, I just felt like I had to try, but wait, why am I even touching that? I can literally just do this. Ooh. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay, let me just teleport with the... Gale. 
Okay, who is you? Oli and Rugan. And I'm hearing boars, maybe? Alright, let's see if I can teleport the entire group. Nice. Let me group everybody up. That's very cool that I can do that. Ooh, I'm seeing something up there. I may sip some coffee every now and then, by the way. Get over here and help! <clears throat> if we don't deal with them gnolls, none of us are getting out of here alive. Ah, the gnolls. Okay. Hmm. Huh. Nobody but Gale seems to like the... Take them gnolls out. Hmm. There is another way out. Across the chasm? You might have got in that way, but you're stuck with us now. Ah. Hmm. Sure, let's, let's just prepare. Aye. That we can do. The fire won't hold them forever, though. Be quick about it. When the fighting starts, we'll be right alongside you. Will you, though? So, that's a level 4 null. It's another level 4 null. How many, though? Four? Three? Oh, hello. Yeah. <laughs> I could. Ooh. So, was I not supposed to get in that way? Huh. Oh, we are not jumping toward death, that's for sure. Alright, I feel like You have a particular way with words, Gail. Perhaps I feel like up here might be the play. Uh oh. Figures. Let me disarm the mine. Can I hit the mine and will it blow up? Lazel is dangerously close to falling off that cliff, so. Oh, action, not reaction. If we fall down, we might as well. Never mind. Carlac decided to move. Okay. Alright, Grandpa Gale. Come here. I need your TP. What? The hell just happened? <laughs> Alright, that was weird. Alright, let me not just randomly walk, because, you know, let me do this. Okay, no perception check. That's decent. Oh my god, that, that's a lot of gnolls. Hold up. Hold up. Oh. Okay, ho hold up. Can I go from behind? And just smack thy cheeks real quick, if you know what I mean. Hmm. Yeah, this could work. Damn, this dimensional leap thing is... OP! Very OP! Alright, there's a bunch of gnolls here. Actually, not even joking. Holy mo... What is this? Is this a full group of gnolls? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five... Jesus! Uh oh Oh, that was not the plan. That was certainly not the plan. I can't do this now. Because I'm in battle. I got... Um, what now? How is Kremiel in battle? What? So did Gale just randomly pull my entire group into battle, even though I'm not really, you know, there? Uh, I need to do this in melee with Kremiel, which is really bad, because they got bows, and I'm very, very out of position. Let me just go here, I guess. Man, I really just need to disengage somehow. This is so bad. It's fine. Uh, I'll do the dodge action just in case, because you never know. But I feel like this is such a bad spot. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh my god! 
Okay, hold up. Because this was unintentional. Uh, I don't want to save scum this though. I want to use saves as little as possible, if you know what I mean. And I fudged up hard because there's a bunch of fire wine here and I could have used it to maybe just blow them up, you know? Yeah, it's fine. I should definitely rage next turn with Karlak though. Like straight up, if they do not target Karlak this turn, I am raging instantly. Mm. These guys are getting destroyed by the way. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Th there's at least seven that I'm seeing right now. Oh my god, Asterion! These three are getting destroyed. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What do you mean soul offer? What is soul offering? Oh, nah. I don't have a full heal other than this. So, might as well use it now, I guess. There we go. That's the only full party heal that I know right now. I need... I think I I think bludgeoning, but we're about to check. I'm pretty sure bludgeoning is like the best uh, type of damage in the game, but it doesn't seem to matter with them. So whatever. Eh. I'll just use a help, uh, an axe. Sure. Let's just use an axe. Why not? Doesn't seem to matter right now. Alright. Unfortunately, I ca can I? I was gonna say. Boom. That's 7 damage right off the bat. I will take it. And uh, I will move just a little bit. Just to make sure I don't get... AoE targeted randomly. I wish I could teleport my party, but I fudged up, so I cannot. But... What if Gale just randomly destroys this one? Make sure it's a level 2. Is it a level 2? It should be a level 2, no? Yes, okay. Boom! How are you not... How are you not... That is my question. How are you not? If you know what I mean. Alright, surely I have the range. Oh, just barely. Let me get out of the way. Yeah. So I only pulled one. But, again, that was an accidental fight start, which I did not want. I'm gonna need to heal. Unfortunately, I can't do that just yet. Let me make sure I get in the back with a Starion. Maybe try to get out of range. Ay, 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 brother. What is that? Let's see, we got two there. Three, four, five, six. Well, hold up, hold up. One. <clears throat> three, four, five, six, seven. Eight? I think I saw eight, but I'm not completely sure because the camera keeps moving. I forgot to turn that off. Which is kind of bad, but it's fine. Alright, they all stacked there. Man! Boy, oh boy, if I only had some major AoE. Wait, Gale does. Yeah. That acid is not Gucci. Hmm. Do I want to try a Thunder Punch? It may miss, but... Yeah. I need to... <sighs> I need to start the... Switching up my characters just a little bit, because this is not it. What is that stance, brother? Look at this guy. Just wide stance, Mother Yucker. 
All right. So this is a mark. I mark myself. Hmm. I'm not gonna mark myself. What if I mark? Wait, this is a melee. Yeah, I need to mark myself, kinda. I don't really want to put myself in danger, though. So let me use this one on Whisper. I think this is the play. I actually think this might just be the play, but not from here, because this seems like a bad idea. Just in case they got something that can push me. Oh, this dude has... Oh, yo, 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 ch yo, chill. This is random dude, just level 5, 122 HP. Oh. Okay. So, let me try to take out this one. Because it's lower HP. Oh my god, bro. Okay, this is turning out to be very bad. I may die here. Yeah, let me just... Try to get out of vision. Am I out of vision? I don't even know. I can't tell. I, ca I can't tell because the rock is disappearing. There's that one dude over there, but... Yeah, anyway. We're about to find out. Am I out of vision? I am. He's hitting Shadow Heart, which is kind of nice. Because Shadow Heart just dodged. I need them to kind of start targeting the spiritual weapon. I think the reason they're all stacked there is in fact the spiritual weapon. Which kind of means they are hella stacking for some damage to be done to them. Because they're just taking AoE over AoE. I... Hold up, can I stop the burn? I was not aware you can stop the burn like that. So let me just do that. Huh. Okay, that's a useful thing to learn. Time to... I think we go form of the beast. Or oh, it's only two hit points. Uh, I mean, two hit points do matter. What if I just use form of the tail? Because I think that's the best. Just make a miss, my, make a miss attacks. You know what I mean? Disappearance, anything, thing is getting on my nerves. I swear to God. All right, I need to get in between. There we go. Maybe this is a situation where I use the soul coin on Karlak. Unfortunately, I don't really know how to use that because I was, because I've never done it before. So yeah. Okay, the game is taking a while to... Hmm, do I use tail? Whipped! Um... Okay. Wait, yo, 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 chill, where are you going? Oh, he's trying to... He's still trying for Gale. Weirdo. Okay, I do need healing. Um, First of all, though... I need a Starion back in the game. Because you never know. And then I need to make sure I... I heal Shadow Heart. Because... Yeah. They got a lot of bows in there. And I do not like it. Alright. Let's see now. I need to get rid of them gnolls. They are very annoying. One thing I do not know, does this axe moving, the, the spiritual weapon, does that cause them to try to hit it when I move? Why is this weirdo high defense, bro? How are you high defense on cloth armor, basically? That's not even leather, or is it? The guy just got a bikini, if you know what I mean. Alright, I'll... Destroy this hyena, even though I know for a fact Some of these need to be cleansed because they they're like no spawners, so I don't know Maybe I just leave the hyena alone and just go straight for their nose Sure, I'll, I'll tackle this one. I'll miss never mind All right, I need Gale to first of all Help me with this one maybe but 
I'll, I'll ignore that one for now. Guy got at least two turns before he gets the gale, I feel. So, let's see. I need to get in range for this. Which means I kind of need Gale to be somewhere where he can see. Um, I'll just move over here. And hopefully this guy doesn't have anything that can throw. Let's see, we got some wooden barrels here. Snowstorm is out of sight. Very sad. Do I really have to dimensional leap? I think I have to. Unfortunately, my range is right here. I kind of wanted to just, you know, be somewhere in the back here, but it's fine. If this guy was not here, bro. He is... He is such extra in the way. I need to get rid of that dude. That one singular dude. And he's too far because I moved. Oh my god. Alright, come on, grandpa. Are you for real now? Oh god. <laughs> this is killing me inside. Just a little bit. Alright. I'll just dimensional leap here and hope for the best. If I do this, I'm hitting Karlak as well. Man, this is pain. Or we need to get rid of this one high defense. No flash gnawer. Please, just... Oh my god, it's still not enough. Alright, Astarion, I need you to just heal yourself. And try to get out of the way. You know what I mean? Unfortunately, this is a bonus action, so it's Garbaggio. Currently, um... Let's just put a Sari on here. I need him to heal up before he does anything. All right. I like how they keep stepping into fire. That's good. I need Karlak to just start hitting on them. Oh my god. What? Yo. Guy had three attacks? That's kind of bad. This is beginning to be really bad, actually. I wish I could see the percentage on my attack, even though it's... Yeah. Fifty-five. I'm not gonna touch that one, because I'll, I'll let the human... The human deal with that. Uh, that hyena, I don't like there, but it's fine. Hmm. Do I go for the 65 and I risk a, another null spawning in on me? Or do I go for the actual... You know what? Getting rid of that one in the back might be the play. But he does have burning on him. So that means he's dead next turn, I believe. So let's just try to hit this one. Nice. Very cool. I think I just need to jump in there. Like, actually not even joking, I think I need to jump in there next turn. Or do I jump now? And go for a pummel strike on this one. That might be the play. That might just be the play. Just go in for a pummel strike. And uh, hope I hit. Oh, never mind, it's a bonus. I forgot. I'm sorry, I forgot. Anyway, I am in range to help Lazel out, so it's it's good either way. That was the plan, anyway. Um, never mind. Why are you moving, bro? Just hit him. Okay. I will probably need to class that one. Very sad. Very cringe. It's 50, 45, 45. Oh my god. I'll go, I'm gonna have to try to lacerate this one. Or... Uh, this provokes attack of opportunity from the hyena. 
How is that one one doggo hitting me through the spiritual weapon? What? That makes no sense to me, but it's fine. But this still provokes it. Cringe. Jesus. Alright. Alright. Guess I'm going for the one in the back. Sure. I will have to reckless attack this. I wish I had another action. I'm not gonna lie. I legit wish I had another action. I'm gonna try to push this one. There we go. Make sure I kind of get in close. Uh, that's the spirit. This is why I like Karlak. Ooh, I am getting destroyed. Oh my god. I am actually getting destroyed right now. So bad. Okay, that one did die. This one guy in the back is still there. Doing whatever. Ay, ay, ay. Alright, I have to heal. Oh my god. I was hoping for a better heal. I'm not gonna lie. Legit hoping for a better heal. I almost accidentally hit car like I'm not gonna lie. How do I how do I get in there? I think I just resist taunt. Wait, I can go into melee? Okay. I mean if I can go there, I'll just go there. And I think I can still pop a pot. No, no, it's a bonus action, never mind. Alright, I healed Kremiel as much as humanly possible. Let's make sure I get in there. I made tank a hit with Shadow Heart, but it's fine. This one needs to drop. How are you missing, bro? Oh my god. Pain. Alright, Gale. Do, do something. Come on, Grandpa. Be useful. You're the strongest, literally the strongest thing I got. <sighs> it's... Painfully obvious that Gale is literally the strongest thing I got. <laughs> Painfully obvious. Alright. I was hoping for a crit, but I, I will take it. Okay, can I sneak attack? I can, but it's a 35. You know what, I'll take it. Um, I really wish that hit. Um... I need to plan this out. So I try to go for a crit heal, hopefully next turn. We use Crimson Blink to get in there close, hopefully here, so I can target the knoll in the back. Okay, but if I go there, I'm gonna put Asterion into flames. Oh my god! Really? <laughs> really? Yikes. Okay, that's extremely bad. Luckily, I know kinda how to deal with this. Kinda. Okay, I'm gonna try a last raid, but I think we look for another option if I can. It's 45 on everything, damn. Okay, we're not doing the preparation, we're doing the... Uh, actually... Even though I would like to not do this right now, I kind of feel like I have to. Do I have a bigger potion? Damn! Alright. I was kind of hoping I heal everybody up, but it's fine. Shadow Heart is just a little bit out of position. This is probably the best play I can do this turn, though. Quite literally. I'm not even joking. Man. Okay, I need to get rid of this one in the back. That's just randomly coming here. But at the same time... Let me try to lacerate. <sighs> Bro. Bro. Alright. Uh, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna teleport Gale all the way over here. Because I feel like this is the play. We hit this guy with one. Hopefully it's enough. 
And then we double this guy. Am I using the level 1? I may have just used the level 1 magic missile instead of the level 2, but it's fine. So if you're wondering, uh, if, you, if you don't know this, uh, you can basically level up your level 1 spell with the level 2 spell slot, and it does more damage, yes. At least that's what I found out. Alright, I do have to try this. But at the same time, I kind of have to heal Shadowheart like now, so I'm gonna have to do this instead. I'm gonna do this. Uh, invalid target, so I can't heal her if she's down. Damn, that's cringe. Okay, we are healing Kremiel then. And uh, I will just attempt. I think I just attempt a hamstring shot. I don't think I can sneak attack, but... I mean, I can, I guess. Sure, I did figures. Alright. I have to go, but I can't go. This is just enough space, but it's literally on fire. Cringe. I could maybe get into melee. Um, not into melee, just get closer. But I feel like I just wait. I feel like I wait and then I go on the other one. Hopefully he doesn't insta-target me. Can I jump all the way? Not really. Somehow this is out of reach. Oh, it's because I gotta move there. I see. I can't teleport right there, which I am inclined to do, actually. I hope it doesn't proc a hit from the other dude. Wait. Asterion the fudge. What? Oh my god, he went into threat range. And now he's basically prime target for the big dude. Okay. Okay. Okay, dude, this guy just unloaded on Kremiel hard. Jeez. Alright, we got a bonus action there, a bonus action here, and no normal action. That is sad. I'll try Pommel, even though it's 45. Damn. Alright. Hit me up. Thank God for that, by the way. This one dude right here needs to drop. Like, actually. Unfortunately, Karlak is in range, so I'm not gonna be able to do anything with this. I'll just try a preparation, I guess. And I'll try to lacerate. There we go, there we go. Uh, next time I'll try the, the searing thing. Hopefully Karlak can tank just enough. Let's see, can you get me right there? Kinda. Yep. Nah, not good. Not good. Alright, let's make sure it's a level 2 spell, just in case. I'll do 2, just in case one misses randomly. Okay, this is not the play. I need to move in closer. Come on, Grandpa! Get in range! What is your maximum... 6.1? There we go. Boom, boom. And let's give him two as well. There we go. Got rid of the range, dude. And now I just gotta destroy this fellow somehow. <sighs> Luckily, I got Gale. Okay, and this is an 80%, which is almost guaranteed a hit. Ain't no way! 80%! And you are telling me the 80 was not enough. Alright, we make sure Shadowheart gets to play the game. Ah, yeah. Uh, I think I just... 
Sanctuary Shadowheart at this point. And I think if I move, I am on target the ball. There we go. I was right. Because of the, the thing, I am untargetable. I think I true strike. To make sure I got advantage on next attack roll, even though I don't know if that's gonna help. I'll try the second win, because I got no other option. There we go, almost a full heal on that one. 8 out of 13 is actually kind of nice, decent. Okay, oh my god, poor Karlak. Jesus. This guy actually just destroyed Karlak, straight up. Not a care in the world. Alright, I need to, I don't know, flame him, I guess? 25, um, 40? What if I do this? It's not even enough movement, why? Because of this? Maybe? Guy's too thick. Piercing shot? This is a dex. It's a 45. Let's see, you're low dex. Huh. Damn, look at that mohawk, brother. Alright, so... The dex is the highest? Because he's lower dex. Huh. Alright. And he still somehow dodged that. Kinda cringe. Next turn, I need to drop a heal potion. Get me close. There we go. Not close enough, apparently. Alright, Gail. Can you put him to sleep? <clears throat> Let's see. Nope. It says 24. Uh, 32, I should have checked, but it's fine. Mm, I could blind him. You know what? I'm gonna do just that. I will dump a blind right on top, because I feel like I just kind of need something to stall this hard. I wish I could throw, but... Yo. Alright. And now hopefully, we are kind of even right now on how much he can hit me and how much I can hit him. Hopefully. Okay, so I have no blood essence, because I just wasted everything, and I missed. Um, okay. Okay, I need to read something on a stereo real quick. So we are dex int, but my stuff is con saves. I'm guessing the con, the constitution save is for the enemy. I got nothing that actually utilizes dexterity just yet. This is so weird. So weird. Okay. Well, since I'm in melee, might as well just try to melee hit. Never mind. Alright, I think. I think I can move now because of the fog. So I'm just gonna move up here. Just, you know, get out of the way. Can I really not jump there? From here. What? How is this not enough movement, brother? I am confused. Okay, just get me out of range. Okay. I just want to move, kind of just maybe get a better angle and just make sure I got at least one more unit other than uh, good old Gale in the back over there. I got True Strike, but I don't think that helps much. Hmm. Very, very annoying. I don't really have anything to deal with this guy. Other than Gale, that is. Alright, I will try to get out of the way. For now. Okay, never mind. 
I just pulled him out of the, the blindness, but it's fine. At least he can't hit those on the ground. Which I think is very good, because it gives me time to save them. Oh, yo, yo, the tactical play in this one, brothers. Okay. Okay, please hit him. I know it's a 45, but... Yes. Alright, Gale. Hit him hard. Nice. That's... I believe that was 10 damage. Let's see. 2, 2, 2, 4. Yep, yeah, there we go. Alright, and since you're out of the blind... I can get high ground. Now I got 55. There we go. This is a little bit annoying, but it's fine. Do I risk this? I mean, I... The other one is higher chance to hit, but it's still a low chance, so might as well try hit this one. There we go. Taking the risk, baby. Pop a heal just in case. Uh, yeah, yeah. All right, I need ranged attacks on Kremiel bad. Okay, this is because of the blind. He was in the blind again. Very cool, very cool. Um, who died? Uh, Rip Karlak. Actually, Rip Karlak. All right. Let's see. I don't have the uh, thing anymore. The what's it called? Sanctuary. So was this really ten turns, or was it because? Wait, the sanctuary go away if I pick somebody up? That is cringe, bro. Is that supposed to happen? I'm not harming anybody. I am literally just basically healing. Is that supposed to happen in the game? Do let me know in the comment section. I am confused as hell. Very confused right now. I'll try this. I would have tried the uh, Searing Smite, but I can't do that. I think I just tried to dodge, actually. I actually just think I gotta try to dodge. Just distract him, if you know what I mean. I don't think the... The spirit weapon can be blinded. Annoying. Alright, Gale. Oh, it's got 35. Hopefully my my teams can survive just a little bit. I got one more dude over here, which doesn't seem to be doing all that much. Great. I can use a bonus action to teleport up to 9 meters. What? Confusion. I don't really need that, but thanks, I guess. I wish I had the bleed, I'm not gonna lie. But it's fine. Can I do the sneaky? Oh, I can. Nice, brother! Let's go, Asterion! Whew! Alright, I will have to revify Karlak. Just because... Uh, actually? Actually, I think I just go to camp now. And basically heal Karlax through Withers. I think. I hope that's possible. I do recall him saying something about that. Okay. Let's go grab everything we can. This one... We can open now, because I'm assuming it's because the other guy is just... Rugen. Ooh, what is this? Heals the wielder, but they can go mad. What? Hold up. Hostile to everyone in the vicinity. Ooh. Oh, but this is a one-hander. Mm. It's still a good find. 
If I can find something else that gives me healing like this, I can give that to Karlak. Dump Karlak in the front line, solo. This is a good weapon, I feel, for early game, kinda. I'm gonna get that one. Oh, we got a Parasite. The hell? My guy had a... Okay. Why is it still saying 4? It's 2. Game can't count. It's saying 1, but it's 0. Hello? <laughs> Simple math? Hopefully I can just get some stuff from Rugon without the other dude jumping me. Alright, I'll get this sword sword. Oh, I just jumped into fire. Sad. What's in here? Accidentally jumped into fire, but it's fine. I need to hold on. It's fine. Woo! Alright, I'll basically just take everything here, I guess. It's fine. Even if somebody else dies, it's fine. Hopefully they don't. But it's fine. Hmm. These things have stayed okay. interesting. Wait, you saw what now? This? I'll pass. Thank you. I prefer abjuration over acrobatics. That's the symbol of the absolute, if I recall now. We got some twisting vines over there. Not sure why. Is there like a hole here and I don't know about it? Just random twisting vines over there. Anyway. You have my attention. Alright, we are taking Gale. I'm gonna jump over fire. Alright, where is this dude? I know he's not gonna like this, but I don't care. This is Whatever's inside is probably cursed. It's fine. Alright. Bringing back the party. Is that blood? And now I'm gonna talk to dude. Never seen a knoll up close till today. Hope I never do again. Shouldn't have left home. I'd rather die penniless and peaceful than be torn to bits chasing riches. Alright. Oh, we got a level up, everybody! Let's go! Let's actually go! There is one wooden chest there, which I am going to take with Gale. There is a trap right in front, though, so it's a little bit annoying, but it's fine. What do you mean I can't reach? Hello? Random. Alright, Grandpa. Uh... Eh. Careful, I bind. Let me actually bring a starry on here. Cause yeah. Can I please jump there? There we go. A Starion does high does have high decks, so hopefully he has an easier time disarming this. There we go. There we go. Thank god I brought a Starion, by the way. <laughs> Because that was barely a success. Alright. Oh, it's locked. I did forget. Let me knock the lock. There we go. This is why we take a knock. It's very useful. Reasons grasp. When the wearer chooses to end their rage, they gain 15 temp hit points. Damn! Carlax specific. Let's go! Speaking of Carlac specific. <laughs> uh, we need to save Carlac. We do need to save Carlac. I've got a long road ahead. 
All right. I'm gonna save here. Rip. Carlac. Now, the reason I'm saving here is because I will save scum this. Because I do not know if this works or not. I've never used Withers to revive somebody. Um, did I not click on Long Rest? I did. What? Am I being f Wait. She's 0 HP... Wait, am I allowed to just... Oh, oh, well that makes things easy now. Alright. I'll just long rest, I guess. Okay. Damn, this cave was heavy though. Oh, hello. Will? Oh, he's here for Karlak, isn't he? Because she's a demon. The Blade of Frontiers. Yup. What's shaking you for good after the Mind Flare ship? But you just can't get enough of me, can you? Karlak. Advocatus Diaboli. Advocatus Diaboli. Hmm. I'll just hit option number one. The devil's head and yours. If you so much as. Uh, fun fact. A great fun. Because of the new mods we have in this revision, we are technically a tiefling. Just wanted to let you guys know. So we're technically a devil as well. A devil angel, if that works for you. A Nephilim. I'll explain later. Your allies are fraud. A soldier in the Archdevil Zariel's army. Either I cut her down, or she burns the Sword Coast to ash. I've tried to tell you. I am not what you think I am. I'm... Uh -huh. Another vision. Karlak's blade raised, slicing through devils, Zariel's servants, as her eyes dart around, seeking escape. Awfully convenient, by the way. ...with Karlak's desperation. She is a victim of the Blood War, not an agent of it. By Baldrin's helm, I... No. I will not be tricked. Mother Yucker, you just saw her memories. What do you mean? An effective soldier, but I never wanted to serve Zariel. Legged it away from her the first chance I got. And yet you served. Not by choice, brother. There is a difference. Alright, so... Remember I said uh, we are technically a tiefling? A, a demon? Yeah, so because of these mods, um, we had to choose our ancestry. Now, when I remade Cremiel, because of the updated mod list. And now, not only are we half-angel Asimar, we are also technically tiefling by ancestry. So we are technically, literally, a Nephilim. Half-angel, half-demon. Okay? I'm not even joking. <laughs> I will take you into character creation again, so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But, yeah. So we are quite literally a Nephilim now. I I'm not even joking on this one. Unfortunately, um, the mods don't really have anything to combine this ancestry with our actual race to make us a Nephilim. I'm hoping somebody does that at some point. So we have a literal Nephilim class, if you know what I mean. Like, if you are uh, a Tiefling by ancestry and the... Uh, Half angel Asimar by race, and you choose, let's say, fallen angel, okay, as your class, you get a subclass as a Nephilim, okay. I'm, ho I'm hoping somebody understands what I'm saying, but I, I, I really hope somebody does that as a mod because that would make so much sense. I know it's a little bit of work, unfortunately, I don't know how to mod. I mean, I know how to mod, but I don't really know how to create mods for this game myself. It's not like Skyrim, like I just jump into Creation Kit and do a mod, but yeah. Anyway, uh, let's go back to Karlak and Will. So... We are going with option number one. 
because Karlak is no danger and Will is basically a friend. <laughs> because he's been uh, confused by another Archdevil. No! Devils cannot be trusted! Um... Let's see. Both 1 and 2 are good. I will not take number 3 because I like Karlak. And uh, we're definitely not taking number 4 because I don't want Will to die. <laughs> and we will need the Will, if you know what I mean. Uh, let's just go with number 1. Would you listen to sense? This doesn't have to end badly for either of us. You know monsters, right? Better than anyone. Look into my eyes. Can't you see I'm not what you think? <sighs> Shit. You really are no devil, are you? I've... I've been deceived. Oh, thank the gods. Thought I was gonna have to take your head. You would have died in the attempt. Doubt. There are enough threats today. Truce? I'll do you one better. Allies. We're looking to get rid of these parasites for good. And ruin some bastard's days while we're at it. Sounds like your kind of venture. I've not grown any tentacles yet, thank Baldron. But luck won't be on our side forever. Yes, you have my blade. Your leader willing, of course. Well, soldier. What's the word? Alright. Hey! Well met. And a thousand sorries. I've pledged my life to protecting the meek from monsters. But tonight, I was the rampaging beast. I see the good in you, Karlak. I promise not to lose sight of it, even when the hells burn hottest. <laughs> The famous Blade of Frontiers in the flesh. Boom! What happened with the Shadow Heart? Hero, Blade, name strangers gave me. My friends call me Will. Excellent. If we ever become friends, I'll know what to call you. <laughs> Ran random Shadow Heart comment be like. All right. Now we finally dealt with the doggy situation. I think that's what I'm gonna be calling the video. The dog incident. The doggo incident. <laughs> yeah, I think that works. And uh, from here on out, this video is gonna be about me basically leveling these people up. And I think I'm gonna have to take my time on that one because I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people to level up right now. Yep. Alright. Uh, if you're looking for the story, head on over to the next video. But if you're not, feel free to feel free, feel free to stick around until I actually level everybody up and you see my decisions and why I'm taking those. Also, apparently we got an interaction with Withers. Huh. Alright. I will not touch the interactions until next video. <laughs> right now we are leveling everybody up. Starting off with, um, let's see. Let's start off with Will, and I'm gonna leave Kremio for last. Alright, we got a Warlock. Let's see what the Warlock be doing. So, we have nothing right now. I think Burning Hands might be the play, but... Hellish Re Rebuke is decent as well. Gives me an option to do the flame from a reaction. But I think Burning Hands. Because this is an action. Even though... Uh, wait. Uh, if I use this... Oh, uh, this is reaction. So, okay, I was correct. And then we got that, which is... Uh, I am really hoping I get some free stuff and not perma spells. Because I don't really like having to waste spell slots 
just to get some damage out. I'm not gonna lie. But I think Burning Hands is the play. At least for right now. Okay, Agonizing Blasts looks decent. Uh, armor Shadows. Mage Armor. Uh, I do believe Will has some armor on him. Uh, unfortunately, I can't check right now, but I do believe it's an armor. And I think this is for no armor. Yeah, can't be wearing armor. I do believe this is medium armor, maybe. Beast speech, we don't care about that. Bagooling influence, nope. Devil sight, devil sight is decent. I don't think I'm gonna be using darkness anytime soon, though. I can cast fiendish vigor on myself at will without having a, to use a spell slot. That's not bad. I basically got a free heal, I guess, I think. Hmm. What is one with shadows? Can I see this game? Vanish into darkness and become invisible as long as you stand still. Hmm, nope. Repelling blast. When you hit a creature with Eldritch Blast, it pushes them away. Nah. Once per long rest, you can cast Bane using a Warlock spell slot. Hmm. I don't care about Bane. So I think I'm gonna have to take Agonizing Blast. Which means I'm turning... Wait, he does actually have high charisma. Yup, definitely Agonizing Blast. And then I think I take either Fiendish Vigor or Devil Sight. Hmm... Devil's Sight is good. But, I don't know. It, it could be very good if I get the, the Darkness spell. You know what, let's just go Devil's Sight and I'll see later if I actually go that route or not. Um, Armor Earth, I got this. I'm not gonna take this. I'm not gonna take this because Shadowheart already has the aid. And you only get temporary hit points from one source at a time. So yeah. We go in Arms of Hadar. Even though I could technically take this. Because it does do cold damage to everybody that hits me. And uh, yeah, it, it does... It does give me an extra spell after aid falls off, I guess, if I get hit. Hmm. I think I just use Arms of Hadar and I prevent targets from using Reaction. I feel like that's kind of better utility in a way, because I am stacking temporary hit point sources with this one. So I'll just... Take... wait. Ah. Oh, okay, hold, hold up. Okay, so we switched this one. <laughs> uh, I was about to do something kind of wrong. It's fine. And then we put in El Hellish Rebuke. Here we go. That's the play. That's the play. That is what we want. And then we get the Pact Boon as a passive. We get the spells, level 2. Uh, Scorching Ray? I feel like might just be the play because that 6 die 6. Jesus, that's a, that's a lot, bro. That is very strong. Uh, give me a second, I need to make sure my kid goes to the bathroom. Alrighty then, so, let's see, 
Ray of Enfeeblement. Mirror image not found. Breach a creature's mind, possibly preventing it from being hidden and granting it no benefit from being invisible. Um. Suggestion? Suggestion is not bad. I would make use of this. But I feel like. Uh, how long does suggestion last? Is the problem. It says 600 turns, but what is the chance of this actually working, though? Because it does not say, also it's concentration. Yeah, no, nah, nah, we don't do that. We don't do the concentration one. We got Crackle, which is really good, but I feel like Scorching Ray is literally the best play. We got Claws of Daggers, 44 is not bad, but it's only 16. This is 6 to 36, bro. This is really good. Shadow Blade is not a bad one either, but again, it's concentration. So unless I have... See, we, we do have darkness here. Unless I get the, the thing... Unless I get the... the what's it called? Uh, the thing that makes me unable to break concentration. I am not taking those. So let's see what these are. Getting familiar. Pact of the Blade. You can summon a Pact Weapon or bind the one you are wielding, making it magical. Pact Weapons use the wielder's spellcasting ability modifier instead of strength or dexterity. I think I go Pact of the Blade. Because that does make sense. I don't care about Pact of the Tome. So I get a weapon that is literally undroppable, I believe. My spellcasting ability modifier, I believe, is the Charisma. Yeah. And then I need to read this a little bit more. If this could be used on top of my other one, which is weapon bound, that would be good. But as it stands, I'm not gonna get this because it's it's a concentration spell, and concentration breaks really easily from uh, what I've seen so far. Hex is decent, but that would literally mean that I hit melee a lot. Which I will not be doing, because I am Warlock. And I have high charisma, I don't think... Hold up. So I, th I think the uh, Pact of the Blade makes my weapon use my Charisma instead of Strength to use, uh, I mean, uh, to, to hit in melee. I think. And then I bind it so I can't drop it. Which is very cool. Very, very cool. Also, it's magical. So I'm gonna be doing magical damage. I think it's force, but I'm not completely sure. I think I just take Scorching Ray because it's literally the best I, I feel. I may be wrong though, but... Alright, I'm gonna walk over everything like this. Let's see, Darkness is good, but I'm not gonna take Darkness right now. Crackle is... Decent, but it's a d12, and I do not like that. Borrowed knowledge, I don't care about. Hold person is decent. I am not really sure about flock of familiars. I've never used that before, and I... No. I'm not the familiar type of person. Cause fear, we don't care. That we don't care. Valkrana, we don't really care. Suggestion, um, no, because it's concentration. I don't like concentration spells all that much. 
Um, Hex, again, is decent, but it's a concentration... It's a concentration spell. So many concentration spells. I do not like any of this. No, no, no. I just have to take Scorching Ray here. It's literally the best I can see. And then if I change anything... Let me see. So I got Arms of Hadar and Burning Hands, but I think, I think I just remove Arms of Hadar, because Fire is just better, I feel, also it's a 3 die, let me just, yeah, I don't really care about the, the reaction, most of the time, so I'm gonna just remove Arms of Hadar if I have the option now. And I feel like I just put in Darkness because most of my party has uh, Dark Vision, Dark Sight, Devil Sight. Also, that kind of helps Will now as well. Because this is 10 turns of everybody just being blind and heavily obscured. In the vision department, if you know what I mean. But again, I will be unable to use this in certain parts of the game. So yeah, we might have to switch again at some point. But just for now, I'll keep it. And then we get level 4. Let's see, we got cantrips. Mm, booming blade... What I don't know, is this 1 to 8 thunder damage and that's it, or is this damage on top of my normal damage? I think this is just 1 to 8 thunder damage and that's it. So I don't care about that. Decaying touch. I don't like this one. Fists of fire? Yeah, okay, we don't care about this. We don't use fists. We don't care about that. We don't care about the freeze. 1d8 is trash. Ice weapon? I don't think I care about this either. Because, yeah. Let's see, 1d6. These are so bad, bro. Okay, pebbles, we don't care about pebbles, mine sliver. This is a little bit of light. No, shadow lash. Another something that I feel maybe garbage. Shape water though. Shape water might be decent. But I need to check some more stuff. Stone forming? Let's see. You can make simple or martial melee weapons out of stone or you can escape... Okay, we, we don't care about this again. Toll to the dead. Okay, it does some necrotic. Water bullet, we don't care. Thunder clap. Why are these spells so bad, bro? Is it just me or are this these just extremely bad? Clear clouds. I know a place where that could be useful. Okay. 
The spell can be cast while you are silenced. Hmm. I don't really know how to use this one. This is a weird one for me. I think I just take Bone Chill. Because I think the rest of these are mostly just garbage. That's just my opinion, though. True Strike might just be the only one that I don't think it's actual garbage. For Will, I mean. For what I'm going with Will. Not in general, just, just garbage for Will right now. We could get Arms of Hadar back now. But I don't know if I want to do that. I could take Hold Person. Th that could be good. Or Cloud of Daggers. But again, it's Concentration Spell, so it's kind of bad. Ray of Enfeeblement, however. Hmm. No, we're taking Misty Step. We are taking Misty Step. And let's see what we can take in and what we got in here that may be replaceable. We got nothing that is replaceable right now. Because I feel like I need both of these. This is a level 1 fire spell, which is really good. This is a level 2 fire spell, which is extremely good. And we got the uh, reaction fire spell, which is really good. Then we got the blindness, basically, and heavy vision obscurity. Because you need dark vision to see through this. And yeah, there's nothing I can switch. Nothing I can switch. We do have feet now. I could get... I could get at least one more Charisma now and one more Dex. I think 14 Dex is useful because of the plus 2. Let's see if there's anything better that I can take right now though. Like maybe the Concentration one? You know what I mean? Uh, I can take this one but I feel like Ability Improvement is just much better than Actor for right now. Even though the Proficiency bonus is doubled. Initiative is also really good. Strength and Dex increased by 1. I don't really care about Strength. That 1 Dex increase is good, but again, Ability Improvement just does that, but better. We don't care about most of these. Defensive Duelist is interesting. We don't care about Dual Wielder. We don't really care about Durable. No, no. Armor proficiency with light armor and strength and de or dex increased by one. Again, not good for us. Mm, this could be good, but I feel like most NPCs would not use a spell or a ranged attack in melee. Because I feel like I've seen most NPCs just go for the um, just better percentage hit, if you know what I mean. And that's usually, if you're in melee, that's usually a melee hit, so yeah. I feel like the game is just kind of coded that way. Okay, we don't care about these. Warlock? Okay, so you can learn a... Wait... So I can learn two more cantrips. And the level one spell. I think. I mean, I, I don't care for that, I'm sorry. It could be good, but I don't care for it. 
Battle Master? Nope. Mobile? Nope. I don't recall if Will has just proper armor or nothing armor, if you know what I mean. Because if he does have no armor, then the warlock would the, the the magic initiate warlock would be good so i can learn the the magic armor that's it i don't know if i should care about that right now but we will find out a little bit later spell sniper Spell Sniper is not bad, but no, that would be good on Gale, though. We don't use shields, we don't care about that, we don't care about Sentinel, we don't care about Savage Attacker. I don't think I care about Ritual Caster. Yeah, okay, I don't care about these. Most of these are just not what I care about. Uh, what I care about is this, I feel, and this. Do tell me if I'm wrong, but I do believe this is the best right now. I don't think intelligence is... Yeah, because Bone Chill does not use Int. It doesn't use, use Charisma either, but I do believe most of my stuff uses... Uh... I, I do need to check, though. So it doesn't say if it uses Charisma or anything else. I'm assuming they just use Charisma because that's my default. So, yeah. Strength for the armor class. Make sure I get the extra one from Dex. And then Charisma. I do believe I only get plus two from armor. No? To armor class. I I'm pretty sure. Because I have, I have research just a little bit to make sure I don't fuck up that hard anymore. <laughs> Not sure why I have 13 intelligence though. This is a little bit confusing to me. 13 int is a little bit confusing to me. But sure. Unfortunately, I can't switch that right now, so yeah. I do need to check Will though. Just making sure, but... Well, apparently, I get Kremiel right off the bat, even though I did not want to do this. But I guess it's going in order. Back. Alright. Let's see. Uh, I think the prepared spells are garbage, so I don't I don't need absorb elements. Uh, let's see now. I think I had false life, and I think I may just use false life again. O other than false life, I think sanctuary might just be the play. But I do need something that is ranged. I'm thinking Ray of Sickness. I do need something that is ranged. Also, it's an action, so it's really good. I do think Ray of Sickness, because I'm not using False Life once uh, Shadowheart casts aid. So, yeah. I think Chilling Smite with Dissonant Whisper and Ray of Sickness is the play. Because I, I, I really feel like I need the the ranged spell on Kremiel. I could take Tasha's Hideous Laughter because it's a really good spell but at the same time I don't know it doesn't say if this one uses anything but I am assuming most stuff would use the Charisma what I do need to do is my stats again. So I'm gonna do this and this for right now. Okay. I do need to lower decks by two. I do remember that. I have not forgotten. Okay. <laughs> I do remember that. But constitution and dexterity. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna take two from dex. And I will put that into charisma. For, for uh, when I actually do that. I think this is the play for right now. Okay, we get Shadow Heart. Let's see. We got Cantrips. We need 
spare the dying. I feel like might just be the play. Or Blade Ward. But I'm not completely sure. Hmm. Burning Radiance to erupt from you to all nearby enemies. That is interesting, because I could pop Shadow Heart in between enemies with the Sanctuary and then use this, but it's so low damage and it's only a single die, it's, I feel like it's really bad. I feel like spa uh, Spared Dying might just be the play. Because it's an action instead of a bonus action. Or whatever. Also, I think I can revive... I think I can revive two with this one. So I use this and then I, I just get somebody up. I think I, I think Spare the Dying might just be it. Other than that, Blade Ward is the only one that's catching my eye right now. Light is decent, but I don't usually use light. Even though it is good, I think. I just don't use this because it's it's a long rest, so yeah. It's not permanent or something. I don't really, I don't really use light most of the time. I may need this for later, but right now, no. Blade Ward or Spirit of Dying definitely gotta be it. I'm definitely removing Bane. And let's see now. I feel like I need Prayer of Healing. I actually feel like I need Prayer of Healing. So I don't have to waste my, uh, my heals all the damn time. This is the one time I will take Prayer of Healing, probably. Because this modded playthrough is destroying me. <laughs> I, I feel like I really need it. And I feel like there's nothing better other than maybe Guiding Bolt. But I don't really need the damage, I need the survivability. Gale's good on damage, if you know what I mean. And then I don't know if I need ability improvement, I'm not gonna lie. Where's the one with, uh, let's see. Do I want to use heavy armor on this one? It's a cleric, so I'm assuming no. Even though I could make her more interesting. Hmm. Medium armor master feels like it's good. But I'm not gonna get... Actually? Do I get two extra? Because if I get two extra decks... And I remove the strength... Then I don't need to hit anybody in melee. I feel like this might be the play. I don't need to hit anybody in melee as often. I get to remove some points from strength. I get to extra my decks. Which also means I get Sacred Flame to hit more often, because it's a dex modifier. Uh, a dex save. It uses Dexterity to hit. Hmm. It's gonna require me to waste some gold, but... Also, I can maybe use this. The Magic Initiate Cleric is potentially good. But I feel like I just take <coughs> Medium Armor Master. I feel like this is the play for right now. Either that or Shield Master. Let's see, you gain a plus two bonus dexterity saving throws while wielding a shield. If a spell forces you to make dex so, uh, saving throw, you can use a reaction to shield yourself and diminish the effect's damage. On a fail, you take half damage. On a success, you don't take any damage. Also good. And I do know I can find a couple shields here and there. 
I either take Shield Master, or I take the the Medium Armor Master. Hmm. Hmm. Plus two to bonus decks, saving throws. But if I get Medium Armor Master, then I can plus two my decks anyway, and I get a one. Also, I get higher value, I believe, for Medium Armor Master than, than Shield Master when I actually do the switch. Sure. I'll take Medium Armor Master. I feel like that is the play, and I just remove some strength, because I don't need it. I don't really need it. Actually, I don't think I need it at all, now that I think about it. Because if I go full heals with Shadowheart and just make her full tank, kinda, then I don't need strength at all. She's just gonna be there to... Let's see. She's gonna heal, she's gonna do the... Sacred Flame, just make sure she stays in Sanctuary sometimes, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, I feel like this is a play with Shadowheart. At least with this, uh... With this thing I'm going right now. But we'll see, I may change that. Alright, we got good old Astarion, the Rogue, the Blood Letter. We got Siphon Blood. Stepping into a blood surface heals the blood letter. Amount equal to proficiency bonus. What is proficiency bonus? That is my dex, no? Or? Let's see. Your proficiency bonus is added to ability checks and saving throws against skill you are proficient in. Making them more likely to succeed. It is also added to attack rolls. So I'm assuming that's just my dex. So if I'm healing equal to my dex, I mean 17 heals? Question mark? I get 17 HP when I step in blood with a Starion? Uh not not completely sure how that works, but we'll find out. Let's see, sanguinary projection. Throw a blood jar onto a surface, forming a blood surface. Creature with Oh! So I can throw a blood jar, and uh, I get a blood surface. Also, I drench people in blood. Why would I do that? Prevent from burning. Resistant to fire damage, but vulnerable to lightning, cold, and necrotic. Okay, so I, I make them vulnerable to lightning, cold, and necrotic. If I throw this. But I make that one target basically... Resistant to fire damage. If it's already resistant to fire damage, it's gonna be even more annoying, but... Luckily, I got stuff to deal with that. Alright. And I think I just definitely take this. Um, for some reason, Astarion has 13 wisdom. It's kind of weird. I think I just take ability improvement and... Go at least one more dex. Uh, one more int. So he can use that uh, fire spell if i recall that is on int i do need the one extra dex because the starion come on <laughs> um or do i go bow expert do i go bow expert I don't have disadvantage on attack rolls, on crossbow, or bow, in melee. Huh. Lucky? It's only three lucky points though. I don't know how they work, so let me check. So I get three lucky points once per long rest. Nah. Nah. Sharpshooter. No penalties from high ground rules on ranged. Oh no, 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 nah, we don't do that. You gain proficiency in three skills of your choice. What does that mean? Hmm. 
What is Gunner? You have a quick hand and a keen eye. When employing firearms. We do not have firearms. I don't even know where I can get that. Right now. So I think... It's either a bow expert, athlete, or ability improvement. And I believe ability improvement might just be the play. Because if I get into melee, I'm not going to use my bow anyway. I'm going to use the bloodletter stuff. And a dagger. I think I just go ability improvement. I plus one dex for right now. I plus one int so I can use the fire better. Because, you know. Or do I double int? I will literally not gain anything for a double point in this. Uh, dex, I mean, not int. I think I just go with this. And I plus one dex. And plus one int for right now. So I can use the, the, the fireball. Because that's an int save, if I recall. Make sure that one hits a little bit better, I guess. Um, I'm trying to figure out if there's... Do I need wisdom? Why does Asterion have 13 wisdom? It's weird. His base game stuff may include some wisdom, I guess. Huh. Either that or I go bow expert and I get one dex. I don't care for the intelligence. You know what? I'll just go this. I'll just get one extra dex. I'll get bow expert. I feel like that's the actual play. I don't really care for the int. Not right now anyway. Alright, Lazel. Let's see what Lazel's got. We get Magic Missile. Which I do like, I'm not gonna lie. And it, it does give us a ranged option on Lazel. That is definitely the play. Then I get the feet. Let's see, we can change Thunder Punch. Do I want to change Thunder Punch, though? Um, if this was a ritual instead of a uh, level 1 spell, I would have taken this. The reason is because you can buff your entire party if this is not a level 1 spell slot. If this is a ritual instead, and you can use this move or spell however many times you want, I can literally buff everybody... Just enter turn mo uh, turn base mode, buff everybody, and just allow everybody to jump as high as they can, if you know what I mean. With the extra leap distance. I feel like I just take Ice Knife over Thunder Punch. I really do feel like I, I take this. I don't like Thunder Punch. Either that or I just take Thunder Wave. But I feel like th uh, the Ice Knife might just be the play. Sure, I'll just take Ice Knife. I don't like Thunder Punch. It's usually... <sighs> because my, my Int, if I recall, is low. I think this was an Int one. But I, I'm not completely sure. Is low. I, I can't really use this all that good. And I'm already in melee. Which means I would technically be using melee focused stuff. So why would I use a thunder punch if it's got a 30%. When I could use this. And this might be a, a 50. I'm just saying. And then I get ability improvement. And I do this for right now. I feel this is literally the best thing I can do. 
on Lazel currently. She does need a full respec though. Because Eldritch Knight, and I believe Eldritch Knight, was intelligence for the spells. Alright, we got Barbarian. 41 HP. Alright. Heavily armored. Plus one strength. And we get heavy armor. I don't know if that's the play. Or if I get ability improvement and I get plus one plus one. Which might just be it. I do get the extra on decks. If this would raise both strength and dexterity at the same time as getting me the proficiency, that would be so cool, but... Yeah. Um, I don't recall what kind of armor... Man, I wish they would just tell us in this screen. Hold up, hold up, unarmored preference, or unarmored defense. Okay. So, we are using constitution. Damn! <laughs> that is literally not what I thought. Okay. Scratch that. Scratch that. Let's see if we got anything that increases constitution while also doing something else. Or maybe something that does not use uh, armor and gives me some extras. We'll see now. We don't really care about that, I think. Let's see. Tough. Your hit points maximum increases by 2 for every level you have gained. So I have a plus 8 on HP, that would be 49. No, I do need one constitution. Mm, man. Resilient? This is literally what I just read and I said I don't need. Okay. <laughs> I don't need armor. Martial Adept. No. Do I go Dual Wielder? Uh, dual Wielder would help Karlak right now use stuff which I have just found. But at the same time, I need the Constitution. I do need to full respect these people, bro. I feel like because I, I use the modded classes, everything is just butchered. And y'all are uh, literally probably crying while watching me play with these random stats. So if I go dual wielder, but I don't think Karla can use finesse weapons, I don't need to check. How do I... Can I check that? I don't think she can. She can use... Uh, great swords and axes and stuff like that. But I don't know if she got any proficiency with uh, short, swords, uh, short swords and stuff, because I did not check. But anyway, this is painful. I bet this is very painful. Uh, athlete would really help with Karlak, though. That I know for a fact. But, at the same time, I don't really need Athlete right now. What I really need right now is Dex and Constitution to and Strength to maybe get fixed. I, this Wisdom is a little bit high as well. I need High Constitution. That's what I need. So I think I just take Ability Improvement, I go 1 Dex, 1 Constitution, or 1 Shrank, no, I think I literally just go 1 Dex, 1 Con. So I get the extra Dexterity um, Armor class. No, wait, hold up. Hold up, I need to make sure I do this right. Dex is not what I need. Strength and constitution is what I need because this is... 
This uses my constitution modifier for armor class instead of dex. How high does it go though? Okay, you know what? Is there anything that gives me constitution? Yeah. And we get full HP every time we rest. I feel like durable is good right now. I feel like that might just be the play. I do get the extra constitution and then I don't need the, the heal core lack all the damn time. But at the same time, is this what I need? Hmm. Because athlete is good, but this is... No, we're not going this one. I do need to have the ability improvement, I'm sorry. I need... I think this is what I need. And I, I'll take athlete next time, and maybe then the other time I get durable if I get another choice. Know what I mean? Yeah, I think that's what I'll take and how I'll do it. I think I take ability improvement right now. And then if I get another chance, I get athlete. I'll have to redo these. I don't recall if I can. I think I can at Withers when I respec. Oh boy, this is going to take a lot of time. I may just do this off video because this is going to take a lot of time. All right, we're done, Karlak. Grandpa Gale. 14 HP is not bad for a dude that was literally on four. All right. Cold Snap, 3d8. Uh, dark Vision, Darkness. Okay. I could give Gale some bard stuff. Just because of this suiting song thing. The hat. But I'm not gonna do that. But that would be funny though. Make Gale a healer too. <laughs> okay, what, what am I taking on Gale? What am I taking on Gale? I need... Misty Step definitely is something that I need. Because that is a very useful spell to have. Is this a ritual? No, but I don't need a ritual. I am taking Enhanced Leap. I don't think Gale needs more types of damage right now. Even though Scorching Ray would be awesome. Hmm. Wait, if I don't take Misty Step... Because this is a bonus action. I already have a teleport. I don't take Misty Step. I take Leap. And I take Scorching Ray. I think this is the play. Because I already have Featherfall on uh, Lazel. And since I'm a Dimension Traveler on Gale, I can use the Enhanced Leap, the make sure I buff everybody. I already has has the dimensional leap, which is a teleport, so I don't need Misty Step. Yeah, that's the play. That's the play. That's the literal play. We don't need anything else right now. And I'm not sure if I want to keep Snowball Storm. I definitely don't need sleep, though. It's weak. It, slap, sleep, slap. <laughs> uh, I don't need Witch Bolt either. This is the play. The reason I don't take sleep is because unless I use level 3 spells, I would need to use a level 3 spell slot to maybe put somebody to sleep that's above 40 HP, 40 something HP. I think last time I checked for level 2, it was 32 hit points. It's It's... 24 on a level 1, 32 on level 2, and I believe it would be 
We'll see. It's gonna be like 40. It's gotta be like 40. And 40 HP is... Yeah. NPCs will have way more than 40 HP. Just because one, I'm on Tactician, and two, I use mods. So you've already seen people having 120 plus HP. So I feel like sleep is literal useless. And then we have 22 int. Why is my intelligence so high, bro? It's it's fine. Can I buff it even higher? No. Imagine I could, though. Alright. Wizard. We don't care about that, actually. What do I even need on Gale? Uh, Warcaster? This would have been good on... Uh, on Will. Hmm. I could get Toph, so, so he has more HP. It's 22 instead of 14. That would be good. Because I feel like that's literally the only problem he has. Or... I use Spell Sniper. And don't really care about the HP and just snipe people. Is there any any feat that gives me extra spell... Uh, what's it called? Extra spell range. Mobile, not needed. Performer, nah. I could get performer. So I can make use of this and just heal people. Randomly. Though I feel like I am making better use of Gale if I put him on attack. So he just has to be on attack mode. I think I just take Spell Sniper. And then let's make sure we get a good one. Bone Chill is nice. Eldritch Blast is also decent. I feel like I just take Bone uh, bone Chill though. Let's see, what's this? One Illusionary Dart. If that was two, I would've taken that one. Decaying Touch is uh, good, but it's melee. Burn, also melee. Most of these are melee. So I think Bone Chill is the play. Uh, the reason I'm considering Bone Chill... Either that or I just use Force, force Bolt, but... At the same time... Even though this is Omega High Range... I feel like Arcane Blast, usually. I am not gonna take Eldritch Blast, because I already have the other one. Uh, Arcane Missile, and I don't use spell slots, so Eldritch Blast is a waste. Force Bolt might be decent, but I feel like Bone Chill because of the... Bone Chill. <laughs> if you know what I mean. So they can't heal for a turn. Yeah. Yeah, I think I just do Bone Chill. Force Bolt would be good. I could use this instead of Arcane Missile at higher range until they get in Arcane Missile range, but... At the same time, I can Dimension Leap. So... Yeah. I think this is better. My Int is really high. I don't really care for Gale getting hit or not. As long as he does his stuff and doesn't go first in combat, he's not gonna get hit either way. And most stuff are 18 meters from what I've seen, so yeah. And then we got Scorching Ray for the damages. We got Bone Chill for the make sure he doesn't heal. We got Arcan Missile for the force damage. And now I think with Sniper... Spell Sniper, we get critical hits more often because the roll... Is reduced by one. Yeah, I think this is the play, even though I like tough. Because he gets a lot more HP. Um, I don't think I need anything else. Not right now anyway. 
I'm thinking performer next time though. So I just spec into bard. <laughs> this is gonna be a weird one. It's fine. Alright. Well. That has been the video. We are almost at the two hour mark. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And my thought process. And I think. Uh, before I start the next video. Uh, no actually if I go talk to Withers to do that then he's gonna start the interaction so I'm not gonna do that I, I, I guess I just do it on video yeah it's fine I'll do it on video as fast as possible I guess I'll just add some chapters to the video and you guys can skip it if you want well that was the video uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the doggy dungeon <laughs> The dog incident has happened, and we barely made it out alive, but it's fine. And I'll see you guys in the next video, where we will literally have to respect probably everybody. Yeah, I'll see you next time.